If you have a river to cross, cross it. Heaven Letter Number 4959 June 23, 2014 Continuing with yesterday's theme, it may be that what you are asking for advice comes down to is that you are asking for permission to live your life. You want sanction. Is this how it is for you? Is it? Are you looking for permission and approbation? Do you want a pat on the head more than anything else? What does outside approval amount to, beloveds? There may not be enough approval in the world to fill your heart to overflowing enough. Beloveds, I have to ask you, why would you need permission to live your God-given life? You have been given life, and along with life, you have a lifetime permission, a guarantee that this is your life, and you are to live it as best you know how, to learn how, and grow in consciousness in the world, and to be the best blessing you can be at any particular moment. Nowhere does it say that every choice you make must absolutely be the best possible choice in all the world. Nor, of course, does your birthright include a license to disregard the choices you make as if you are not responsible. Right now, in the soap opera you live in, you have one life to live. Of course, you do the best you can, and life is lived now, and you have choices to make. All the choices you have to make are not all foregone conclusions. And all your choices are not easy, yet nor are all your choices difficult either. There is a difference between making the best of life, as if it were a dreary assignment, and living life as best you can in the moment that you are living it. You are always living your life. As you read my words, you are living your life. In life, you are not getting a PhD. You are not taking a college course called Living Life. In life, you learn. Life itself is the course of study, and life itself is the oral exam. You are the learner. I say it again. Life cannot be lived on the level of the intellect alone. It cannot. You fool yourself if you think it can. Life is lived on the level of the heart. Certainly, you do learn from life. You learn a lot. Where did the idea come about that logic must rule your life? There is much that logic might prescribe that does not contribute to your life or the warmth of the world. Selfishness could have been a result of logic. I have enough to do to look after myself. There is not enough for all. I'd better make sure I get my share. That seems to add up, yet it does not add up. The premise does not add up. Life is bigger than logic. Logic does not inspire. Logic does not make heroes. Nor is becoming a hero to the world your object. Look, it comes down to this, your life is for your oneself. Your life is your gift to the world. Oneness does not mean one-sided. We are not speaking of a sentimental heart that gets all cozy. Do you understand me? I tell you that life is bigger than the details of it, and yet details add up. Nor are you to ask yourself too many questions and make so many arguments to and fro. If you have a river to cross, you cross it. You see the other side of the river. You are going to swim to the other side, or you are going to wade across the river, or you are going to ride in a boat. You see what is at your disposal, and you go ahead. There is another side of the river that you are getting to. Make a choice. When you get to the other side, Keep going from there. Take it from there, and move on. You will find me. Channeled by Gloria Wendroff. HeavenLetters.org